Yes, 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 yes. Get in there. Manchester United have beaten Manchester City 2-1 in the Manchester Derby. Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J. And Manchester United have won away in the Etihad Stadium 2-1 against Manchester City. In the first half, in the first 30 minutes, you know, we were all over Manchester City. You know, defensively, Manchester City all over the place. Marcus Rashford gets fouled by Carl Walker or or De Bruyne, who Anna was, and Stonewall penalty. But yeah, VAR took a long time to get it. But anyway, you know, Rashford steps up. Eventually, when the penalty is given, and he puts in the net pass, Edison, 1 0 Manchester United. Then we go 2 0 up. Fantastic hits by Anthony Marshall. Edison gets an absolutely nowhere near that, 2 0. And then, towards the last 10 or 15 minutes, you know, Man City was starting to have more of the play, and we needed the half time whistle. So, yep, in the second half, Man City carried on where they left off, really, you know, attacking. But we were defending absolutely brilliantly, you know. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, who's my man of the match, made a crucial block on Kevin De Bruyne. Victor Lindelof was also very good as well. Just, oh, I'm absolutely proud of this team, you know. They played for this badge, absolutely plays in a badge. They showed Passion and hearts. Absolutely fantastic by Manchester United. If only we did this against the mid-table teams, we would be absolutely fantastic. Man City had quite a few corners, but Manchester United, I think they only had two corners, but the first corner, oh my goodness, a thread was being targeted by supporters Manchester City released a statement saying we condemned that sort of behaviour well I should think so too absolute disgusting behaviour from their fans you know just sore losers absolute sore losers anyway you know it was such a great derby now you know because towards the end Manchester City were really starting to go for it and they got a goal back from the corner. Nicholas Ultramendi was just a bit too strong for Juan Bissaka and he moves him out of the way which made the score 2-1 but thankfully we hanged on and got a fantastic victory. I'm absolutely buzzing after that. You know, well deserved victory. Absolutely fantastic by Manchester United. Manchester City are now 14 points behind runaway leaders, Liverpool FC. That is absolutely game over for Manchester City. The only team who can now stop the Scousers are the Foxes, Leicester City. Since the Ports got injured and Fins and Companies left, Man City just... Teams are able now to have counter-attacks against Man City. The last couple of years, you would have been lucky. You only had one or two counter-attacks against them. But, you know, since Laporte's got injured, they've got massive problems. So Manchester United took advantage of it, came out 2-1 winners. So now we need to see if we can keep up with the consistency because that's the first time this season we've won... Two matches in a row, yet beating Tottenham and now Manchester City. It's now time to start playing like this against the smaller teams. If we do, then top four is a real possibility. But not if we don't sort it out this inconsistency, we won't get top four. But anyway, I'm just absolutely buzzing by tonight. Right, let's get on to the player ratings. De Gea, Ogin Hassan, I thought he made an absolutely good save against Cahan De Bruyne, tips it on the bar. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, 
I'm going to give him a 10. I thought he's absolutely superb, you know. He got a couple of crucial blocks in, you know, just man of match from Corman from Aaron Wambasaka. Harry Maguire, Sahan, Lindelof, Sahan, League Show, Sahan, Scott McTomney, Sahan, Fred, Sahan, Pereira, Sahan, Jesse Lingard, Six, you know, I don't think he offered much threats, but. I cannot give anyone a low rating today. No, we're absolutely fantastic. Daniel James, Sahan, Anthony Marshall, Sahan, Marcus Rashford, eight. You know, I thought again, playing on the left hand side of the wing, he was absolutely fantastic. That is definitely his best position. So, yep. Comment your thoughts down below. I predicted a draw, but I wasn't expecting this. This is just, ah, oh, magical. What a night, you know, for us Manchester United fans. Because we've not had much luck in the derbies recently, you know. The last time we won in the derby was when we came back from 2-0 down to beat Man City 3-2. A night where they could have sealed the title. So, <laughs> oh, that's still my proud moment, you know, denying them the title in the Derby. Always be proud of that. But, you know, just the match was great, but obviously the headlines would be the shocking behaviour on the fans, you know. Just, uh, if you go to a football match, just go there and enjoy it, you know. Just don't cause trouble. You're going there to support your team. And I really hope no supporters get what's coming to them. Man City said they will be banned for life. Find out who they are and ban them for life. Wan Bataka, my man of the match. Back in getting there, United. Come on, me son. <laughs> bye bye.